Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Remember when Notebook LM was just this cool research tool that could summarize PDFs? Well, Google has completely revamped it. The new Notebook LM 2.0 isn't just about summarization anymore. It's now a full creative powerhouse. If you've watched my previous videos, you know how handy the original version was for document summaries. But this update, it's on a whole other level. In today's video, we're going to explore everything. The all new three panel UI, interactive audio overviews, video overviews, and how to use it for content creation, course planning, and more. I'll even show you real examples that you can try on your own. If you go to the official Notebook LM website, you can see all the various features available and you can see the current plans that are available. There is a free plan that all individuals get, but in case you want more power, and additional features, you can always switch to the Notebook Element Pro. But if I go to the overview, you can upload your resources, get instant insights, we can generate audio overviews and even generate video overviews. Once you log into Notebook LM, this is what you're going to be seeing on your screen where you can look at your current notebooks and you can click on my notebooks to see your current notebooks that you have. Next, you can look at something known as featured notebooks that are publicly available for all users. So you can click on them, you can look at them and you can see all the different sources, chat with them and get the required information. I'm going to come back here and the first thing that I'm going to be doing is creating a new notebook. So let's start with the UI. The first thing you'll notice is the three panel interface. On the left, you have all your sources. You can always click on add sources. You can add PDFs, text, txt files, markdown, audio files, etc. In case you have your files in your Google Drive, you can attach Google Docs and Google Slides. If you have a website of the blog or maybe a public article and you can even mention that, you can mention YouTube tutorials. And in case you have the content copied, you can even paste that there. In the middle is your main notebook where you can get started with chat. Once you upload your sources, you can chat with your information and on the right you can see your studio where you can generate your audio overview, video overview, generate maps and in terms of reports there are different documents that you can generate based on the data that you have. So let's just get started by adding a new resource. In case you don't have your own data source you can always click on discover resources and uh, maybe mention the type of notebook you want to create and you can just mention the details or the type of data source you would require. In case you don't know that, you can always click on I'm feeling curious and in a couple of seconds, it will give you some interesting random sources that you can select. And here you can see it has given me multiple different sources that I could always import. I can select, deselect them and then click on import. But for now, I'm going to be selecting a PDF that I have. It is a UN climate change report from 2023. So I'm going to click on add. I'm going to choose a file and this is going to be my PDF. I'm going to click on open. And here you can see on uploading the PDF, there are a couple of things that happen. First, your file gets uploaded successfully. It goes ahead and renames your notebook and it gives you a quick summary that you can read and grab information out of it. So I think the first thing that we're going to be doing is just giving it a simple question that says summarize the key global sustainability challenges discussed in the report. So this, this is just a simple way where I would like to see the AI response, where I would want to see a structured summary with maybe bullet points, etc. And here you can see it has successfully generated a proper highlight of the main challenges that were discussed in proper bullet points in a proper list. Now, in case I would want to save this for later reference, I can always click to save note and it will get added to my studio here. So if I click on save to note, it instantly adds a note. If I want to maybe convert this to a source, you can always do that. Once you click on convert to source, it will put it out in here. So that's going to be a resource your notebook is going to be using. In case you want to edit this, just click on it, give it a name, change it, add some other details, etc. Once you're done, just close it up here. The next thing that I want to do is um, maybe I would want to add some more resources that go deeper into renewable energy policies. 
So the next prompt that I'm going to be giving Notebook LM is to suggest additional resources or reports I should explore to go deeper into renewable energy policies. Notice how it recommends relevant documents automatically. So this is really great for research projects or content planning where I can see these resources and you can even save them to the note and title them as resources and then later come back to it while you're working. So this was on the new UI part of it. In terms of new features, you can see you can now create audio overviews in Hindi and various other Indian regional languages, even Marathi, etc. So that's a really cool thing. And if you go to click on audio overviews, you can click on customize. You can select the language that you want. You can select the length of the audio overview that you want. You want it to be short, maybe default or longer in case you have some certain criteria or requirements for the audio overview. You can always mention that in the chat here. In terms of the video overview, which is very interesting is you can again select the language and mention some important points where you'd want the video overview to focus on and click on generate. I'm going to be showing you an example of a video overview that I just created. So this is an AI agents foundation frameworks and ethical considerations notebook that I made and I told it to generate an AI agent video overview about the hype versus reality. And the video that it's created is amazing. I'm going to be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out, but let's just play the video once. All right, let's talk about AI agents. If you've been paying any attention to tech news lately, you've heard the... And you can see it creates slides, different visuals, and different things for the video on its own. I'll be leaving the link in the description. You can watch the entire video. But this is just to show you the new features that are available in Notebook LM. Additionally, if you click on reports, the reports feature allows you to generate different types of documents. You can have a briefing doc, a study guide in case you're preparing for exams, an FAQ, frequently asked questions, or a timeline to maybe prepare, etc. So I'm going to click on timeline. You can generate an AI timeline based on your sources. So I'm going to click on timeline. And based on the 10 resources, it's going to be generating something pretty quick. And here you can see it has successfully generated the timeline and it has given me a detailed timeline of the AI agents. It's given me how it started, early 2020s, what's happening, etc. from the resources that I've currently given it. So it's given me a proper AI agents timeline, milestones in minds, etc. It's given me a proper resource within seconds. You can always generate custom ones by putting in in the chat here. Now Notebook LM also works with YouTube videos. So I'm just going to be pasting the URL and it can generate full summaries plus a clickable transcript. So I'm going to click on YouTube and I'm going to paste the URL of the Google IO 2025 keynote. Once I pasted my link, I'm going to go ahead and click on insert. In the next few seconds, the name of the notebook will be updated and a quick summary of the entire YouTube video will be given to me. So the first prompt or the first question or the first type of information I want to extract out of this particular notebook is going to be summarizing the three biggest product announcements in the particular keynote. And here you can see instantly notebook LM has given me a response where I can see the three biggest announcements were Google Beam, Project Astra and Agent Mode in the Gemini app. Now this is just an example to show you how you can basically take a video get instant summaries, understand the video without actually watching the entire one. The next thing that I'm going to be asking is to see where Sundar talks about Gemini. So that's going to be my question to Notebook LM. And here you can see it instantly gives me a response where it gives me significant segments where Sundar has mentioned Gemini, right? And it says here's where Sundar talks about Gemini and it's given me different segments. And in case you find this interesting, you can always save it to the note. But the goal of this example was to show you uh, how you can save time instead of watching the entire video. You can instantly get your key points and jump to exact moments and understand the entire video much more faster. Imagine doing this for research or competitor analysis or tutorials. 
this is a huge time saver. Notebook LM is gaining traction with professionals. Publications like The Economist have featured notebooks and companies like Rivian are using it to convert documentation into creative planning. Now let's see how Notebook LM can become your creative partner. So I'm going to click on create a new notebook and the resource that I'm going to be giving it is a Google Cloud article of the top 25 favorite ROI customer stories in Gen AI. So I'm going to click on insert. And you can see instantly it renames the notebook and gives me a quick summary that tells me this is a Google Cloud blog post from July 2025 that highlights 25 customer st success stories demonstrating the transformative impact of Gen AI and cloud infrastructure. So the first thing that I'm, I'm going to be asking it is to generate 10 new video ideas inspired by how Rivian uses Notebook LM for creative planning. And here you can see it instantly generates me new tutorial ideas, new 10 video ideas inspired by how Rivian uses Notebook LM for creative planning. Now I can use these ideas, I can save to the note and generate respective scripts too. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is adding another article that looks at 101 Gen AI use cases with technical blueprints. So what I'm going to be doing is clicking on add, clicking on website and pasting the URL of the article and click on insert. And in a couple of seconds, the article will be added to the notebook LM sources. And once that's done, the first question that I'm going to be asking it is to outline five content formats applying the Gen AI blueprints from the second blog to video production. I'll be leaving all the resources that I'm using in the notebooks in the description. You can check that out. And here you can see it successfully generates five content formats for the video production. It, it looks at AI guided instructional video snippets for customer support, hyper personalized dynamic video advertisements, etc. But the goal of this was to show you if you're using articles, different resources, you can take existing case studies and, and it basically helps you brainstorm new content ideas instantly. So the goal of this use case was to show you how you can use this for content creation and how you can take existing resources that you have, maybe some materials, training materials, articles, videos, you can combine that and then generate articles, descriptions, etc. So the next use case that we're going to be looking at is where Notebook LM will be helping us to turn our training material into quizzes and personalized learning paths. So I'm going to be using Notebook LM to generate some quizzes and give me a learning plan for my students. So I'm going to start off by pasting in my URL of the resources that I have. So that's going to be the Google workspace resources. And you can always add your slides, presentations, different form feedbacks, etc., to make your responses more interesting. And the first question that I'm going to be giving notebook LM is to create a five question quiz for the beginners based on the document or resource that's given to it. And you can see it instantly generates a quiz here for me. And you can see it's, it gives me the first question that says, what is the primary purpose of Google Workspace according to the resources? You can see it gives me different, different questions. In case you don't like it, you can always give feedback, but it even gives you an answer key. So I'm going to save this to my note here and I'm going to rename this the, oh, or it's given a perfect name that says Google Workspace beginner quiz. The next question that I'm going to be giving is to create, oops is to create a learning plan for beginner and advanced users for Google Workspace. And the Google Workspace plan looks something like this, where the goal is to establish foundational understanding for Google Workspace core purpose. We can see the different modules that are listed here. And for advanced users, it gives me another way. So now you can create structured learning content in minutes. It's like having a virtual instruction designer built into your AI toolkit. So the goal was to show you how you can use once again, multiple resources to generate technical training content, or maybe creating an outline, creating quizzes, exercises, etc. In case you want to create mind maps that you can use for students to give it to them as resources, you can always click on the mind map button here. You want to create audio overviews that talk about the entire training. You can always click on that. Mention your details here that says focus on the key benefits of 
Google Workspace. Maybe something like that. You can select the type of language you want. Maybe I want it in And I'm going to click from here. I'm going to say generate it in Hindi and I'm going to click on generate in terms of video overview. You can do that for the same. You can create video content for your training and you can do that here and click on generate. And in a couple of seconds, it should be able to do that for you. So to recap, Notebook LM has evolved from a simple research tool into a creative interactive workspace with the three panel UI, video and audio overviews and advanced workflows for content creation and training. It's now a true productivity powerhouse. Which feature are you most excited to try? Drop a comment below and I would love to hear your thoughts. I'll be leaving all the resources and the announcements and the articles that I've used in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.